Hey guys, Crypto Clay here, and here's the deal with the market, okay? Nobody really knows what the future holds, but there's a lot of clear indications fundamentally of what could be transpiring. So right now, oil prices are skyrocketing, and that is because the U.S. has basically sanctioned Russia, saying that we will no longer be purchasing oil from them. The Russian army has destroyed or taken out tons of energy resources that have been used by all of Europe over in Ukraine. And so countries that utilized that nuclear power that was being created in Ukraine are now going to have to rely on other means of energy like oil. With that being said, it's going to drive the price up. As people still require the same amount of energy to maintain their certain lifestyle, they're going to have to find that elsewhere. So that's why we're seeing the price of oil go up along with traders that are basically using this event to help themselves to earn some more money on the side. And that's what we're seeing happening right now. I say that because the price of oil can dictate a lot of other things that are happening in the world economy. That could make the value of the dollar go up or down. That could make other sanctions go higher or lower. It has a lot of power in the world economy. And along with that, all of the other sanctions that are being created right now are creating hostilities in the market, along with the, the value of inflation being added to all of our markets. So if you go to the grocery store and you try and purchase groceries right now, you're going to be paying close to 10% more than what you were paying last year at the grocery store. What does that do to the value of the dollar? Well, it drives the value of the dollar down. So what are we seeing right now in the market? We're seeing the Federal Reserve go to raise interest rates, and every time that occurs, the market goes down in fear of the rise of interest rates. The higher interest rates go, the less people are willing to borrow money for things like mortgages, credit cards, lending, all of those things. So we're seeing a lot of different things that are making up the economy right now and causing a lot of fear and uncertainty in the market. All of those things combined have the market going up and down right now. So you can't really trust anything that you're seeing. Any of these days where the market starts heading back up, you can't trust that. Also, parallel, you can't trust whenever the market starts nosediving. However, I would say that it is more likely to go down right now than it is to go up short term. Long term, I believe that the crypto market is going to do very well. There are so many things that are leading innovation in the crypto market. There are a lot of things that are being produced right now that have so many valuable day-to-day -day assets that can be utilized by every single person around the world. Third world countries can start transacting with themselves without having to go and wait in line long lines at the bank. That's a beautiful thing. All they need is a smartphone. Also, here in the United States, having the social wallets that are being produced on blockchains like Harmony, the One Wallet, is going to have a huge impact on the ease of use. A lot of people don't get into crypto because it's too difficult. I've been saying for years that if you're if your grandma cannot get into this, then it's too difficult. But 
we're starting to see a lot of people wake up to that idea that it needs to be easier to onboard people. And so that's what we're starting to see. And the reason that I say all of this is because I am still very bullish in the long term for cryptocurrencies. We're starting to see that fiat currencies are really not as strong as we thought they were. And because of that, I think there is a place for cryptocurrencies. But we're definitely going to have to see what the president signs into law tomorrow because that could have huge implications on how fast the United States government grows in this industry. Because if he puts sanctions on cryptocurrency or tries to halt some of the innovation that is being created in this space, then that could have very devastating long-term effects. So we're going to have to wait and see for that, but I'm still very optimistic long-term for the cryptocurrency market. I think it's very resilient. We've seen that with Bitcoin over the past, you know, nine years, ten years. So I'm, I'm looking forward to what the future holds, guys, and I think that we're as long as you are patient and you're willing to wait, good things are going to come. Obviously, that's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I wanted to share with you guys some of my thoughts that I've been having over the past few weeks, past few days, and let you know what I'm feeling. And hopefully this helps some of you guys. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Crypto Clay out.